Look, I had to come back and tell you, it's good. Oh my God, I'm loving this combination. Full of flavor, got a little tartness or tanginess to it. The spice from the red pepper. You get the onion flavor, it's so good. Hey y'all, welcome to another Wednesday. It's Wine Down Wednesday, and we are doing a quick recipe. Um, we're doing kind of like a veggie uh, steam, or, steam or whatever you want to call it. Let me wash my hands. I now the, the thing is too tight. But we have a new wine. I don't think I tried this one before. But we have a new wine, at least I think it's a new, because I don't recall ever trying this one. And we are going to do a uh, vegetable, like steamed vegetables, and I, another piece of fish, because y'all know, me and my salmon, I really wanted some other kind of fish, but that's what I had in the freezer. So my salmon is here. It's the frozen pack that you get from the grocer. Just a, you know, a nice size piece. And I really don't want any fish, but I need the protein, so... This is the wine, it's called Trevento. It's Reserve Malbec 2022, and it's Argentinian, so that's gonna be the wine for the day. Um, I actually want to decant, the, well, do I wanna decant it? We're gonna get the aerator, and we're gonna, remember last week I told y'all to just twist the neck, and it'll, this is a screw top, as you can see. Okay, okay. It's, it's good. It smells nice. Let me get the um, aerator. I'm going to sit that right there just in case y'all need to get... Girl, I done sloshed it. Um, I'm going to sit that right there just in case you want to get a screenshot to grab yourself a bottle. I did get it at my local Food Lion. Food Lion! This is a tulip aerator. You can see the hole that's in the middle there, that's, and it's gonna allow air to go into the wine to let it breathe as it pours out. Just sticks in the top of the bottle. I do have these for sale. So if you want one, let us just know. Oh, it's a beautiful color. Really pretty. I love that. Got my elbow up too high. We're gonna do a traditional pour, I think. All right. We're gonna set that there. Oh, it smells really good. Dark, dark berries. Spicy, like peppery spicy. Mmm. Black plums, blackberries. Black, like raisins. Definitely pepper. And I think I'm getting some cocoa. Look, let's taste it and see. Mmm. Okay. Berry tannic. Lot of lots of tannins in it. Really dry. Ooh, yes, it's spicy. I'm getting that pink and black pepper. And I'm getting raisins. And just a smidge of like tobacco. Let's see what the bottle says. Um, discover an epic origin. Discover Trevento. Carmen red Mal Malbec with pleasurable tannins. Manifest red fruit aroma with subtle spice and smoke from the oak. That is the tobacco. All right. So we're going to get to... Um, Cutting up some things. We're gonna go with some red onion, some tomatillos. I don't know if I'm gonna use all four, if I'm just gonna use two. Probably just do two of those. We have some fire roasted canned tomatoes with garlic. We have two um, Korean eggplant. I showed these on video the other day. And I'm probably gonna cut them down to here because this part, I don't like it when they're super flimsy like that. We have two zucchini and we have a long squash. It's called opal squash. 
I really need to find some tromboncino squash because I heard that is super good. And we have delicata squash. Oh, and we're gonna also add some garlic. So um, let me chop up the onion first and then we're gonna get to doing everything else. And it's gonna be a really quick and easy recipe and I am gonna use this entire onion because I like a lot of onion in my food when I cook. Now, if I'm cooking and people don't like the onion, I don't put a whole lot of onion in it. Like, um, my daughter does not like a lot of onion. So when I'm adding it, now she does like red onion. I'll make sure that the onion is added enough so that she can like pick it out if she doesn't want it. And I'm trying to think how I want to do, I think I'm just quarter it and then make some nice size chunks to go into it. All right, and to go with it, I already fixed two boxes of this um, stir fried rice by rice Aroni. Not that I'm gonna eat all of this, but um, the rice is already done. Um, so now get back to cutting this iron. I was about to say orange, y'all. Cutting this onion up. And I'm just doing not some nice size pieces just because, like I said, I like to have nice size pieces of onion in my food. Um, I debated putting some mushrooms in this. Whoops, that wasn't supposed to happen. But then I was like, mm, I don't want too many textures. So I'm just gonna stick with the squash, the tomatillos, the tomatoes, and the onion. All right, so basically it's like a squash uh, meal. Of course the eggplant is not a squash, but it's kind of sorta in that family, I think. I mean, it grows on a thing. What a, a thing. <laughs> it grows in the flowers. I don't know. To me, it's all in the same family. This is my first time having this squash. It don't have no seeds in it. It smells interesting. They say you can eat it by itself, but I don't know that I want to do that. And I'm probably not going to put a whole lot of this in there just because I've never had this squash before. And I don't want... Um, weird tastes i don't want to mess it up i'm mad though that i don't have no seeds to harvest alexa do i trim the skin off of long squash she According might not know to an alexa answers contributor no squash cooks better in its skin okay. you can remove it once cooked okay we're gonna do this long squash with the skin on it y'all and i'm cutting it in these um, Girl, how about she put up, pulled up a picture of butternut squash? But I just cut pieces like that. I, I don't know that I'm even gonna like this squash. So I'm gonna try, I'm just gonna cook it. Let me, you know what, let's try it. Cause you can eat squash raw. Oh. Okay. It's kind of oniony. It has like an onion and garlic flavor almost wow that's different all right i could add a few more pieces of it of it in here i should have quartered all these pieces too that is surprisingly it's very interesting i was not expecting that at all and the texture is kind of firm which i like i do not like a whole bunch of mushy stuff which is why i'm cutting off the neck of that um eggplant because i don't like real mushy vegetables of any type. I know tomatoes are can be mushy, but I like those to be kind of firm also. Um, but yeah, this is pretty good. Again, this is called long squash. Long squash. And I should have taken a picture for my thumbnail, but I think I might still be able to. We're gonna use that right there. Nope, we can't do a thumbnail picture. I'll have to do it, do it like this. I don't know. All right, girl, don't pay me no mind. All right, so next we're gonna add in our zucchini. And y'all know I love me some zucchini. They pulled these off the vine at the perfect time because there are no seeds in them. This is like, wow. They really pulled this off the vine at a decent time. The longer stuff like this stays on the vine, 
the more seeds actually go into it, um, the more seeds develop, just like cucumbers. You can pull cucumbers off the vine before they start to develop seeds and get bitter and all that jazz. So I know my thumbnail is gonna be, I'll just put the pan on the stove. Here we are again on a Wednesday night cooking late. It's because I had to go to the store again. Um, but yeah, so the squash is cooked. But good thing is this one ain't gonna take long at all. You see that right back over there before I done broke my glass. All right, and the tomatillos. For those of you who've never seen the inside, it just looks like a green tomato. I need to rinse that off. And the skin is kind of slimy almost. Not slimy, like waxy almost. Almost kind of waxy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably use all of these. See this one, and this one is sticky. I don't know why, but they do have, mm, this one is sticky too. They, that, those two have more of a slimy or waxy feel to them rather. These two, and you can actually boil them to um, soften them up and to get a lot of that coating off but I'm just rinsing them. These two feel really, really good. I'm actually planning to grow tomatillos this year. So this could be a good thing. Hopefully they have some seeds in them. Oh, it's a few, just a very few. Yeah, it has a few seeds. I don't know. I might have to just buy one, go to the store, buy one to let it dry out to get the seeds from it. But it's very firm and it cuts nicely. I might, I'm gonna keep that piece and use that for seeds. But this is what the inside looks like. It looks just like a tomato on the inside. Yep. I'll keep that piece. But I wanna, um, I get a lot of vegetables that I can kind of get seeds from. Oh, wow, that's a lot that came out on that knife. Go me, I love to um, save seeds for my garden. And it's always exciting when you get some type of fruit um, or vegetable that produces a lot of seeds for you. Because then you don't have to buy a lot of seeds from the stores or from other vendors, which is fine to support vendors. But if you can find your fruits and vegetables that you like that have the seed, look at all those seeds. If you can find a store that has vegetables and fruits that you like and get good seeds from it, why not? I mean, it's the gift that keeps on giving, you know? Because when you dry them, you're gonna have seeds to last you because you're not gonna plant them all at one time. So, yep. That, that's a lot. Oh, cheers to me and my seeds. Ooh. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I got a lot of seeds there. And how exciting is this? This has been sitting right and air has been getting into, getting to it, but you, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm starting to get some seeds popping up. Like you can see, I guess the more air hits it and it dries out, the seeds come up. So I'm gonna let that just dry out. Now this delicata squash is probably, I don't know how I'm gonna cut that. We're gonna go ahead onto the eggplant. Let's cut the eggplant. And I'm only gonna use one eggplant. Cut it like that. And I'm pretty sure the eggplant is gonna be the same as far as, um, and you know what, I should've, I don't like eggplant skin. I don't know why. I should have just trimmed that off. Oh, dishwasher. 
I don't know what it is about the skin of eggplant. I don't like it if it's steamed. I only like it when it's cooked in the oven and stuffed. So I'm just gonna quarter the pieces of eggplant as well. And yes, I'm gonna save seeds from this too. The name of the game is cooking, eating healthy, and saving seeds. <laughs> Not really, I just made it up, but. And zucchini, um, eggplant has extremely small seeds. I don't know if you can see that, but eggplant has extremely small seeds. Um, I like it when it's more firm than what this is, but since it's going into a uh, stir fry, oh, that's what it is. It's kind of like a vegetable stir fry, squash vegetable stir fry. Um, it won't be bad, especially now that I'm taking the skin off because something about the skin on eggplant is just like, it just grosses me out and I don't know why. Oh, look at all those seeds starting to pop up. I can't wait until I get a camera so that things can zoom in for me. The knife is stuck in this delicata squash. Okay. Ooh, okay. It looks just like a butternut squash on the inside. All right. So, Alexa, do I peel the skin on delicata squash when you cook it? According to an Alexa Oasis contributor, no, squash cooks better in its skin. Okay, you so. Can remove it once cooked. I guess that's for all squashes, huh? And just like spaghetti squash and butternut squash, I'm taking the seeds out of the center. If I can get them all out, good Lord. This is gonna be something. This is a beast, honey. Okay. And I'm just gonna um, cut it. Ow, that kind of hurt my fingernail. I'm gonna dry this out. Dry these seeds out. And then now I have delicata squash seeds. Plenty of them, because I will definitely not need to plant all of these. Let's rinse this out. I don't know, it's something about when I cut squash open, I feel like I need to rinse it out and take all the extra strings, if I can, out. And I'm just gonna cut this into some chunks. Because again, I don't know much about this squash, but I can tell you what it don't taste like brown sugar and butter. Maybe once it cooks up, it has a different flavor. Maybe. Now, how do we want to do this? Good. I don't even, is this one too young? <laughs> I'm cut that off. I don't like that, the way that looks. It's like, is this a young baby squash that I got from the grocery store? Well, did, that, did, they, did they harvest it too early? I don't know, but, whoo. I'm getting a workout cutting up squ squash. All right, in the bowl you go. And I am going to dump it all in the pan and season it once it gets in the pan. All right, so I've already added my butter to the pan. It's, 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 it's actually has some little bubbles in it, so it's ready for me to pour my vegetables. And I'm gonna add the vegetables. Stir it around a little bit. I might need to add a little bit more butter. And I'm gonna add some seasonings. And then I'm gonna put the top on and let it um, kinda like simmer. So I'm going with garlic powder. Yes, I know I got fresh garlic in it, but you know. Garlic powder and onion powder really do add flavor to your food. Going with some onion powder. And I don't need to add any type of liquid because squash creates its own water. I'm going in with some salt-free table blend. Y'all have seen me use this time and time again. I need to go back to Lidl and get some more. I'm going in with the roasted garlic and herb seasoning. And I really like this. It has a little bit of salt in it, not a lot. So as you can see, I have not added any salt yet but I am gonna add some salt because I need a little bit. Some pink Himalayan salt or Himalayan pink salt. That's all the salt that I'm gonna add. And some 
you guessed it, crushed red pepper. That's enough. That's enough. All right, let me put these tops on. And I'm just gonna stir this up to get those seasonings incorporated. And look, y'all, I try a lot of different things. I don't particularly have recipes. I just eye it. And if it seems like it's gonna be good, then we'll go with it. All right, so the seasonings are all in there. As you can see, it's so pretty. So now I'm gonna add the fire roasted tomatoes with garlic and I'm adding the juice in there with it because that's gonna give us more of a broth to go along with the water that comes from the squash as it cooks. And I'm pretty sure you could like serve this over rice. I'm gonna have my rice on the side, but I'm pretty sure you could also serve it with some type of noodles or just eat it plain. And I'm not sure how long this has to cook because like I said, I've never cooked this long squash. I've never cooked this um, delicata squash. So, and I've never cooked the tomatillos like this. So we're gonna go ahead and put a top on it and I'll come back when I think it's almost done. All right, y'all, so. Ooh, that's hot. Here's the, the mixture and where is, let's find a piece of that delicata squash because that's how we can tell if it's really done because that's the hardest squash that's in here. Yep, just went straight through it. So this is done and I'm gonna put this in a bowl then I'm gonna cook up my salmon. So here's my dinner already finished. I didn't record myself cooking the salmon because you've seen me cook salmon a million times before but I use the same seasons as always, the salmon rub, onion and garlic powder, black pepper, and uh, that's all I put on it. And I cooked it with a little bit of butter. That's the stir fried rice from Rice-A-Roni and my mixture of veggies. Black Beauty eggplant, red onion, tomatillos, long squash, opa, opo, opo squash, um, eggplant, and is that it? I think that's it. Tomatillos, oh, and fire roasted tomatoes and garlic. So there's my dinner. Having it with a glass of this wonderful Trevento Malbec Argentinian wine. I hope you guys have enjoyed this evening's cooking sesh. And next week we'll be back. I'm not sure if we're cooking next week, but we're definitely having wine. Cheers. Y'all remember, come on back. Remember to, oh, my knee just popped again, Jesus. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Bring some of your friends and family over. We're on the road to 600, headed towards 1,000. Love you guys. Love, peace, and blessings to every single one of you. Have a wonderfully peaceful evening. Mwah. Good night. Look, I had to come back and tell you, it's good. Oh my God, I'm loving this combination. Full of flavor. Got a little tartness or tanginess to it. The spice from the red pepper. You get the onion flavor. It's so good. All right, I'm out now.